okay all right guys welcome to my channel my name is yomi martins and welcome to time out with yomi martins and on this edition we shall be looking at cotps are they finally out is it over and out that's what we're going to talk about today <clears throat> and before we talk about that I am going to give my usual disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just that dude next door that likes giving you all the details, all the educational content, informational content, so that you know how to get that money in your Ducci bag. Now, with that said, let's just go into COTPS. COTPS has been a major joy and a major disappointment in recent time. Major joy in the sense that a lot of people raked in a trailer load of money. I'll be sincere with you, I'd made some money from COTPS as well. Because I, should I say I relatively started, well, based on the fact that people say it started in 2019, which I've not been able to verify, um, I still started early. I started this year, not 2019. I started this year around um, around late March. No, not late March. Yeah, around late March. Yes, that's when I started, late March. I think it was on the 21st of March, if I'm not wrong. So I was able to get my capital out. But the bad aspect is that I now put that same money in Swap Next that disappointed us. <laughs> this is going be crazy, you know. I was thinking I should quickly diversify to swap next so that if COTPS messes up, you understand. I was able to get some money back out of swap next, funny enough. Um, I invested about uh, $4,000 and I was able to get back about uh, roughly $1,800 or thereabouts. So it wasn't a total loss. You understand? I, I didn't make a loss from COTPS. I must be honest about that, right? Now, they have been having SMS issues for a while now and all that stuff, you know? Um, either the SMS comes late or it doesn't come out at all, right? They have come up with messages upon messages that they were coming out at so-so time. They were coming out at so-so time, but they never, you know, rectified it and at a point they said there were some countries that were okay i do not have any way of validating that either okay that said they said that we are going to be back to normal of, of a sudden because of the binance issue some people went to report them to binance binance i think uh, put a flag on their account and all that you know so they needed to settle with Binance and everything as I, you know, as I learned. So, on a good day, they said they were postponing it to the 22nd, 0 hundred hours, which now got us confused whether it was 22nd or 23rd. It now depends on the region of the world that you are staying. You understand? Now, this morning, the greatest bombshell happened, right? Now, the bombshell was this. As you log into your account, you will see this message, system notification. Important notice at 23.05 US time on May 22nd. We were attacked by an illegal network and received a ransom email for an unknown hacker. Right? The attack resulted in the loss of users' data and the platform is no longer functioning properly it was functioning well as at this morning i did some trades so i don't know what they mean by the uh, the platform is no longer functioning properly i did some trades my records were okay everything was okay okay we immediately commissioned a major network security provider to thoroughly analyze the problems caused by this attack and data recovery work has already begun recovery is expected to take three to five weeks we are sorry for this now they are communicating 
they are still communicating. Now, do I think they are gone and gone for good? I'll say no. If you want my opinion, no, I'll say no. I'm a chronic optimist. And I'll tell you why I'm a chronic optimist. It is never over until the fat lady sings. It is never over until the fat lady sings. Let me give you an example of a particular uh, of some platforms, or at least I'll mention one. IP Capital. IP Capital claimed that they were asked, although some of us noticed anomalies in our accounts, as in double credits and everything, and we actually reported it, but they did nothing about it. They claimed that 80% of their funds were lost lost based on the act. COTPS is not telling us that they lost 80% or whatever percentage you. They just said data and all that stuff. Okay. IPC drags coming back for a long time. They even got to the level of people taking them to Interpol. They were, they continue building their, their token and their platform, a new platform, IP Cloud. Anyway, I'm not talking about LPC right now, but the long and short is that they came back and they are back in operations and they have started paying, even on a daily basis. Once you are mining and your money is enough to withdraw, you can withdraw. Now, who says COTPS cannot be the same way? Who says that? They can come back in another format. They can come back in the same format. They can come back with different features and different limitations because they won't want to run on them. So they can, in fact, I saw a, a message today that they were going to introduce 5,000 maximum withdrawal per day just to stabilize the system. That didn't work out because they obviously just um, suspended trading. So your account is blank. It, let me just show you. I've read this message to you, so let me just show you one of my accounts. Like, as you can see here, this account is blank. Where we normally have money here is blank. You can't see anything there. And when you go to um, transaction all, it's also blank. You can't see, sorry, transaction all. You can't see any money there anymore. It's blank. So, basically, what am I saying and what am I driving at? A lot of people will say, I should shut up. I know we are not coming back. They are not doing anything. Blah, blah, blah. If you are saying they are not coming back, they are not doing anything, blah, blah, blah. What will you say to Swap Next? Swap Next just shuts down. They just shut down the site and transferred. If you try and log into their site, you would see cotps.net, not .com, .net. So people, do you know, the, the sad aspect of, COT, uh, of Swapnex was even this. I signed on a particular friend a day before they shut down. I signed on a particular friend a day before they shut down. How will she be feeling right now that they have shut down? How will she be feeling? I actually wonder. But, you know, there was a point she asked me that, am I giving a guarantee on swap next, blah, blah. I said I'm not giving a guarantee. That this thing is high yield. It's high profit, but you can also make losses. We all know how we dimension our risk. We don't play with money that we cannot risk. That if you are not doing this, or if you decide not to do this, I accept that. I would never introduce something to somebody that I know is going to shut down the next day. Obviously, you know that. You get. Now, for swap next, obviously, we cannot do anything or say anything until COTPS even comes back. Now, when COTPS comes back, we can now start asking their customer service that swap next said this and that that what are you guys doing about it that's the only way we can find a solution to it now cotps has not shut down totally their site people can still log in just like ipc 
the site was there, you could even see your money. But this one, you can't even see your money. You could even see your money, but nothing was happening. You know? Now, at a point also, you realize that a lot of people were still trading on COTPS, even though they weren't paying. Now, there was still trade going on in IPC at a time before they stopped the trade. What is the essence of continuing trading when you cannot withdraw your money? And the funny thing is also this. Who told you that as they soft stopped trading now, if they have suffered some losses, this period of three weeks or five weeks that they claim, maybe they will be trading, trading behind scene. The same way I suspected that IPC was trading behind scene. That is my own suspicion. It's just my opinion. They can be trading behind scene to recover if actually the truth is that they actually were asked. They will find a way to recover. All these are assumptions. Now, an assumption, and another assumption is the bear markets. We all know about the bear market right now, but luckily we are getting out of the bear market because um, Bitcoin, for instance, for instance, was in sub $30,000 before. As of today, is now on $30,000, and I expect that things should start picking up, right? Don't be surprised if you see another 60000 or even 100000 um, BTC. Mark my words, today, this year, before the end of this year. Crypto is the wild, wild west. Anything can happen, and that is the gospel truth, you know? So don't be surprised if you see another... 100,000 BTC price. So, based on the market trend being down, some people will say this is not supposed to affect arbitrage. Yes, it's not supposed to affect arbitrage. Fine. But when you have situations in which there are, wrong, there, there are, there are skepticisms on some particular coins, some particular coins going down, people start getting weary on trading and volumes dropped drop rather volume uh, total market cap for instance of um, of um, cryptocurrency markets dropped from i think three three trillion to about one trillion just recently i don't know the current market price but it dropped that bad so the volume you can trade even in arbitrage will not be that high any longer so several factors are there we all know about luna we all know about ust and the challenges they they went they went through with um people losing so much money i'm not an advocate i'm not a staff of cotps i'm just a chronic optimist since they have not shut down their site when they shut down their site and they are no longer operational yes i will now believe that i can go and sleep and like I said to you earlier in my video, it is not over until the fat lady sings. If you like this content, drop me a comment. Subscribe to my channel so that you are the first to hear about my content anytime it comes out. Drop me a comment also what you think. Do you think it's over or do you think you still have faith that they are coming back? It might not even be five weeks. It might even be eight right it might be eight it might be when the bear market we are totally out of the bear market and they have sorted themselves out and they might not even come back again that is my position but until then fingers crossed it is not over until the fat lady sings take care of yourself and thank you for joining me on time out with yomi martins until i see you again bye for now